Today we're going to be installing an Ultrabrace TB4G into a Moto Guzzi V85TT top box. In the tools we're going to need a drill, a punch, small wrench, drill bit, a ruler, a hammer, and the Ultrabrace TB4G kit itself. Okay, the very first part of this install is basically locating where the lower bracket's going to be drilled. And it's just good to take your time, take some measurements, uh, whatever reference we're gonna, you want to use. We're using some masking tape here to, to make the placements. It's basically five inches from the back of the top box and or three inches from the radius of the curve of the top box and then an inch and a half below the top box. But uh, here we're just making some reference points. Then you can use the actual brace arm mechanism itself to, to help you locate uh, where you're going to actually make the, uh, the punch marks. Uh, and again, it's about an inch and a half down. Uh, lightly punch, don't hit it too hard. You don't want to dent the, uh, the top box aluminum. So it's just a light tap. After you've drilled the first hole, uh, it's good to use the assembly to actually help you locate where the second hole is going to be. Don't worry if you've made some misalignments. Uh, we even did that on this install and we just had to slot one of the holes a little bit and then at the end you'll see that they're perfectly parallel and uh, line up with the, uh, the top of the, the top box. Here they're all lined up already. The next step is just to uh, locate where you're going to do the top two holes. It's really directly above where the, uh, the lower bracket goes and I believe it's a half an inch above the radius of the curve. Uh, make your punch marks. All these measurements are in the install instructions. And then uh, when you do your drilling, uh, we've got a little box inside to collect the drill uh, bits everything uh, keep the tour pack clean especially this top box it's actually got an inner liner in it so go ahead and make the second drill mark very easy to drill we've already attached the lower bracket and so now we need to move the brace arm up and go ahead and attach the, the top bracket. You use the shorter screws on the top lid and a little bit longer screws on the bottom if you have a liner. If you don't, it comes with a couple spacers to actually locate the brace arm. Just make sure it's working, not binding. On this particular concept bike, we had uh, move the dry bag forward a little bit to do the work but once we cinch it down you'll see the benefit of this uh, if you've got a tall even a medium sized dry bag it's hard to open the top box uh, or if you have a passenger on the back and here the uh, the TB4G is uh, completely installed really makes the lid easier to use it locks into position if you need it the next step is we're going to uh, go ahead and put all the uh, lock washers on. We just had everything finger tight for the initial install. First the bottom and then the, and the top. Next we're going to use the uh, hex wrench and the little wrench to just tighten up uh, the bottom and the lid bracket uh, machine screws and nuts. And there you have it. It's really easy install. It really makes the, the lid easier to use, more ergonomic. And again, if you have a passenger or a dry bag on the back, it allows you to still open the lid, have it sit there and be open uh, when you have that uh, equipment on the back of your seat when you're on a, a tour.